It's the Textonation Week podcast. I'm Fred Fishkin. Welcome to the compilation of this week's Textonation reports and more. After a successful campaign on Indiegogo, a company called Hydrowind Energy is bringing a device called Quench C to market. It's a device that weighs under two pounds and is capable of turning more than two liters per hour of seawater into water that's drinkable. And even at just $70, the company's donating one for every one sold. Founder and CEO Lee King says it uses reverse osmosis and the filter is long-lasting and replaceable for just about $10. And he hopes to bring the pricing down even more. Once we reach 100, 200,000 units, then really the costs of producing Quincy are going to go drastically down. I mean, even 80 or $60 is still very expensive for the humanitarian sector. You can watch the interview on the Textonation YouTube channel and find the company at quenchc.world. The leading maker of computer peripherals, Logitech, is saying it will change labeling to inform consumers about the environmental impact of all of its products. The first carbon impact labeling will show up on Logitech's gaming products later this year. And global head of operations Prakash Arankundram tells us, One of the reasons we are doing this is partly to inform consumers, but also partly to make ourselves and our teams, especially our design, engineering, and product teams really be aware of the carbon impact of our products so that when we make the next generation products, we are looking to lower the amount of carbon. Logitech is hoping to get other corporations involved as well in the labeling and certification efforts. For more info, head to Logitech.com. Using artificial intelligence to make MRI imaging faster and less costly. That's the breakthrough announced recently through a partnership between Facebook AI and NYU Langone Health, where radiology chair Dr. Michael Recht says an MRI today can take nearly 30 minutes and be difficult for patients. And our goal was to change all of that, uh, getting the exact same information, making the same diagnosis. In this study, we were able to accelerate imaging by a factor of four. And it requires only new software, which will be freely shared. Facebook AI's Nafisa Yakubova says that means that other groups, other researchers, other medical community members could also use this to develop further solutions to make MRIs more accessible around the world. Bringing costs down as well. While more and more 5G mobile phones are arriving, the potential for the high-speed network holds promise for a new generation of connected home devices and wearables. The big Accenture consulting firm is out with a report titled The Future Home in the 5G Era. And the company's global 5G lead, Jefferson Wang, says, You're starting to see more head-mounted displays. As we bring compute power closer to you, that becomes more valuable. So you'll see more of these wearables come into play. And we're starting to see many more devices uh, connected around us. So an internet of everything, if you will. There are differences in 5G networks with different flavors having their own advantages and disadvantages. There's more info at Accenture.com slash 5G Future Home. In the midst of a pandemic, dire predictions about climate change, and an upcoming divisive election, out comes a book titled The End of Everything. But there is a subtitle, Astrophysically Speaking. And the author, theoretical astrophysicist Dr. Katie Mack, with surprising wit and humor, explains a variety of of end-of-the-universe scenarios. I wanted to sort of share some of these interesting scenarios because I think, you know, there are a lot of books out there about the beginning of the universe, and there are very few about the end. And I think that people are just as curious about our ultimate fate as, as they are about our origin. She says it's not a matter of if. Dr. Max Style makes the book a fascinating and, yes, even fun read. Find more at astrokatie.com. Those are our reports for this week. You can find a full archive of reports and complete interviews at textonation.com. Thanks for listening. Now this. How many companies out there have continued to innovate when it comes to building a better radio? I'm Fred Fishkin, host of Textonation, and I'm here to tell you about the new CC SkyWave SSB radio from the wonderful people at C-Crane. Bob and his crew really love radio, and it shows in this new compact model that is packed with features. Beyond great AM and FM reception and sound, you can tune into shortwave signals from around the world. 
listen to ham radio operators, aviation, and more. It's the radio you'll turn to every day and in emergencies. It will run for nearly three days on just two AA batteries. Pair the sleep timer with the new Soft Speaker 3, and you've got the perfect radio for your nightstand. Of course, it can wake you up too. Click on Crane at Textination.com and put in the code Textination for a free flashlight with your order. They love radio, and you'll love Crane.